all names come from somewhere, so where did fruits get theirs? Well... We're starting here with apple because it starts with the first letter of the alphabet and because up until the 17th century, apple or the variation of the word apple used by that particular region was a generic term for fruit. Well, fruit other than berries. Kind of like how down here if we order a soft drink, we order a Coke, then specify what kind of Coke. You know, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, most likely Canada Dry Ginger Ale, but it's the same basic concept. Apparently the French use palm in the same way. Apple as a word is believed to date back to the Proto-Indo-European and probably just meant fruit. If you want to know more about apples, we did a video on old Johnny Appleseed that covers a lot more. The pineapple got its name because, well, it looks like a pine cone, and as said before, apple was just a generic term for fruit, so pineapple. Also, pineapples have a really interesting history. It's way too long to go into here, but I will either be doing a video or a fun fact segment in This Week in History about it in the future, so keep an eye out for that. And now the orange. Again, we did a whole video over where the name comes from, the color, and the fruit. It's Dravidian in origin from southern India. The beginning N was eventually dropped in some forms of Arabic and then Italian and French, which then moved on to English. And now on to berries. The word berry itself goes back to this in Proto-Germanic. The strawberry, which is actually not a berry, and the version we know is actually a combination of two species of wild strawberry that were bred together in the 17th century. Though, as I said, wild varieties did already exist. The name strawberry goes back at least a thousand years and possibly comes from strewnberry because of runners at the base of the plant. The raspberry or raspberry looks rough or raspy and this is most likely where the name comes from. It could also be named after a 15th century sweet rose-colored wine or the Germanic word for thicket. Blueberries, which are native to North America, are berries that are blue. Blackberries are berries that are black. Grape comes from the Proto-Indo-European this, however you say it, and it means hook. The tomato, that's right, not only is it a fruit, but it's also a berry, is native to Central and South America, and the name comes from Nahuatl, and it means the swelling fruit. Eggplant, we're still in the berries, is named so because the white version looked like an egg, and it just bled over to the other versions. Bananas, also a berry, are native to Southeast Asia and Australia, and the name most likely comes from West African Wolof. The cherry, which is not a berry, comes from the ancient Greek name for the region of modern-day Turkey where cherries were supposedly exported from. This eventually became the Norman Cherise that sounds a lot more like the cherry we currently use. Watermelon, which is a berry, is so named because it holds a lot of water. We're pretty sure they were grown in ancient Egypt and the Middle East for this exact reason. Melon, by the way, comes from the Greek mele pepon, which was the long version of milon, which means fruit. And pumpkin is an interesting one. That mele pepon from a second ago, well, the pepon part is the Greek root of pumpkin, and it became pompion by the time the English came across to North America. When they did, they met natives, such as the Massachusetts, whose word for pumpkin was popacun, which means grows forth round. So yeah, two languages that were created and evolved completely separate from each other pretty much had the same name for the same thing. Oh, and we also get the word squash from this Massachusetts name. And finally, the peach, which comes from Persica, which means Persia, which is where they were imported into Europe from. Peaches originally come from China, and though we think their cultivation started around 4,000 years ago, we found fossils over two and a half million years old that look almost exactly like the modern peach, so they're pretty old. Oh, and nectarines? Yeah, they're just smooth peaches because some people just aren't into hair. You know how I feel about hairy fruits. 